Hello everybody, this is Cypher Deck. Hello everybody, this is Cypher Deck. Hello everyone, 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 this is Mr. Bakker. Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck. Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck. Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck. So it's day three, and I had a full group as you can see here. Um, we ended up losing three of our members uh, to death because our puller was pulling way too much and pulled way too big for what our group could take. They, um, they weren't paying attention to people's health levels and so we ended up, um, we ended up dying, of course. Now, the guy who's dying right now, as you can see, um, he's number five in the group. Um, that's uh, Cass, he was a mage. Uh, he, um, he ended up getting lost and uh, dying. We, I, I put Sailor's on and I tried to run everyone to the zone, but um, I don't think everyone followed each other or stayed in a group. It was almost like people scattered. And so we ended up um, losing um, several people. Uh, as you can see, this is my new solar cell. It is 90% solar powered and 10% uh, reactors. Uh, pretty much made the ship all the way to the end and just needed a little bit more juice for these engines here. Now, it may not look like a lot. Um, it's only a 41 million kilogram or 90.2 million pound ship and um, let's just go ahead and start from the beginning to the end I'm going to probably do a lot of cutscenes because of the fact that uh, it's gonna take forever to move anywhere on the ship is that gonna work I think so I think that's gonna be fine it's gonna allow me to put other things that I need right here um, I can probably put thrusters here and on the bottom. Um, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to be fine. Good. Goodness. Good things. So now then we have to get all these hoses working together. I think the best place to put these is right here. And show me what you got. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have and then take a look at what he has. So, first off, the way this works is you have the information starting from the top. It's luxury goods is what we're selling. Its weight is very important. Uh, as you can see, we are 23 weight over 16 right now, which is moderate, meaning that he can still run. But if he goes any further over that, he's going to be walking. He won't be able to run anymore because he's so weighed down. Then you have the value, the trade value, which are the same. Uh, I don't think that's different any at, at any point. I've never seen those two be the diff be different. And then you have the average price. So the value or trade value is how much you will get for selling this here. The average price is 400, and you can see that there is a mark markup of 88%, which is below 100%, meaning that you could buy this and make money off of it but by selling it here you will lose money then this more drum is maybe a few hundred plat where the salos drum is i think oh, it's it's a crazy amount i think like 12 or 20 k or something along those lines and the only thing that's different about them is that modifier of two percent or twenty percent and the fact that one of them comes from a dragon and the other one comes from a dungeon where it's very easy to get. Maybe it's the rarity of the drum, but the fact is that every time that mob is up, which is um, the undead dragon, every time it's up, there's a larger percent of chance for that item to drop versus any other item to drop off of that mob. So, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but two, two points or 20% is, that's a lot of money that you're spending for those, that little amount. Now, if you look at the horn, 
of um, the horn of whatever it's called versus other horns, which there aren't very many other brass items in the game. Um, there is other stats on that item which really cater towards the type of uses that you have for it, like um, charming or um, or um, fearing or um, is, uh, dotting, those kind of things. It's catered towards that, but it also has stats. So understandably, that's around 7 to 8K. But... And it's a higher modifier to anything else that you can get. But with the Salos drum, it has nothing but percussion. So I, I don't know. Maybe this is something I should bring up while I'm playing chords, but it's just something that I was looking up today, so I thought I would talk about it. Wow. That thing is really cool. By uh, essentially programming it with our minds. I guess that's what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, hmm. I guess we have to uh, cover those crosses by doing the wall run. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this says. January 24th, Mark. I call it the monolith. It's like the control rods in a nuclear reactor. It holds the four rods at the perfect height to maintain equilibrium. Five supports hold it in place. What would happen if those supports collapse? And it looks like on the picture where those supports are, there's a little red check marks or X's or just little dabs of red. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Oh, it has that explosive cube under them. So I guess by creating, uh, fixing those holes, it will explode these. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get down here and get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, man. What? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna just take it. I'm gonna take it. I could have swore. I could have swore they were gonna. I can't take them. Got it. Nice. Now I just have to deal with him. And he'll be pretty easy. Right. That was uh sorry for the silence during those kinds of things. Oh by the way, did I have my Yep. You don't have to pick it up. It's it's gonna go ahead and be with you on the next round. Okay, no other chatter it looks like. So that's good. One thing I like about the game is that um, the, the way these guys work together as far as giving potions out 
and um, without those potions, some of these people would uh, run out of mana really fast. Also, I didn't notice whenever I first bought the game, and maybe this is something that changed, is that now these guys heal between rounds at the end of the round, and at the start of the round, their mana goes up. Not heals, but mana goes up. So let's go ahead and finish this. Looks like Magic complains about Cowbell. Come on, guys. <laughs> Ended up gaining level 10 by the end of the day, so that was always, that's a good thing. Always progression, never degression. So, have a great day. This is um, Chords slash Cypher Deck. Peace out. This is Cypher Deck. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again soon, either in game or here. Peace out. And start building our town. And getting our research done because before we actually build a town we want to get our research going really well so all right guys i will talk to you next time thank you so much for watching this is cypher deck peace out all right and then we'll go ahead and end by doing this hope you liked it guys this is cypher deck peace out oh look at the prettiness so here it is this is the final shot this is the last thing that I'll show today. And this is a full half cutaway of the whole ship. And I think it really shows everything that's going on um, inside and out. Um, maybe not right there. Um, but it, it shows that there's a lot going on in the ship. Um, oh, I didn't delete that one. Let's go ahead and delete that. And that's it, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the ship. I hope everything was to your pleasing. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.